If you want to know how to make your own security cameras in Roblox for whatever you want in your game, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys, welcome back to this brand new video on my channel. In this tutorial, we're going to be making security cameras. It's, well, I don't think it's highly requested. It's just that someone suggested, and I was like, okay, sure, why not? First of all, big shout out. We got three shout outs today. First shout out goes to Karabi, to Karabi20, Karabi, Karabi, uh, for giving me source code for this. Uh, he helped me, he gave some source code, and uh, big shout out to you. Today's shout out for the comments goes to this person on screen. Big shout out to you, and thank you for posting something nice. If you want a chance to be, like, if you want to get a shout out, just comment something nice, and I'll choose randomly. I made some Roblox shirts now. Two designs are made by AudioNings, so big shout out to him. And um, yeah, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. If you want to become a member, click the blue join button down below, and we can start off now. So security cameras, they're not that hard. They're actually not that hard. Okay, security cameras are not hard. So what we're going to do, you wanna make a folder. You wanna make a folder called cameras, like this. And they just wanna, yeah, just, just get a chair. Just get any chair. Uh, chair. How about we just go to Messrs. Chair. Uh, oh, this is a simple chair. It's kind of big. I don't care. Okay, so this is my chair. Chair looks kind of cool. So now you want to add in a seat. So you go to the chair and you type in seat. Yes, you type in uh, seat to then camera seat. And want to rotate it 90 degrees. And you want to measure it onto the chair. So just like I'm doing, let me just see. I'm going to go up a bit. I just want to scale it like this. I'm going to make it a little bit transparent so we can so we do still see the, the seat in case we've got to edit something. So now that you've got this, you've got your chair, okay? You got your chair. Now we just gotta make cameras, so you wanna get a part and just uh, name it, I believe it's like, yeah, just, just name it one. So this is your camera. It's actually not really a camera, it's just something basic. I'm gonna anchor it and just wanna duplicate it a little bit of time. So this is going to be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you got eight little cameras, so what I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna make them a little bit, uh, I don't know, maybe just a little bit skilled. Go, go, to, go to three, I just wanna, if you have like a city or something, it's gonna be super useful. Uh, I'm actually going to rotate this like this, I believe, we're just gonna rotate all of them. We're just gonna rotate them, and we're just gonna put them higher. Let me see, this is not an alphabetic order. One, this is number one, this is number two, this... Why is that number three? Let me just fix that like this. To then put it like here. And then we got number four. Number four is going to be rotated like this. Like that. Now we got number five. Number five is just going to get rotated like that. A little bit higher. Number six. Actually, let's we'll, we'll just delete these. And this one is just going to go behind chair. So these are cameras. Now, select all of them and put them in cameras. And, um, yeah. That, so that's the cameras ready. Now, you want to make in starter GUI. Just want to make a little quick GUI. What we're going to be doing... GUI and you want to name it move cameras GUI now Add in two text buttons To then add in a local script This is going to be the left arrow name it left arrow And this is going to be the right arrow Now uh, the left arrow gets like a left side so it's just like that boom rich text Transparency one, and I'm gonna make them big. I'm gonna make them 200 by 200 And you could move them around but I just recommend doing zero comma uh, Well zero point zero five comma zero comma zero point five comma zero 
it's gonna be a little bit offset and you're gonna go to anchor point and you put 0.5 come up 0.5 it's gonna be in the center now so um let's see this is going to be the right arrow so that's gonna be the right arrow and we're just gonna change it to a uh, like that as you can see a little bit weird but we're gonna change the 05 to 95 so these are your arrows done and now for the hard script camera handler Now we can do local PLR is the game that player is that local player local char is the PLR the character or PLR that character added colon Wade local cam is the workspace dot current camera now we're gonna be something very difficult local function alpha Alphabetic, alphabetical order instance so we're gonna make an instance local children is extra instance colon get children we want to change instance to this to so then table dot sort so we're gonna sort it out we're gonna sort the children out with a function of c1 and c2 to so then add in an end and then return c1 dot name is uh well c one dot name colon lower uh it's like greater i believe or less than c2 dot name colon lower like this and then return children so that is your alphabetical order done now we can do local cam parts it's because the alphabetical order works based on cameras Local L arrow is equals to script dot parent dot left arrow. And of course local R arrow is equals to script dot parent dot right arrow. Local arrow click cooldown is equals to false, so we're not gonna break the system. Then we can do char colon wait for child humanoid dot seated colon connect function is seated and seat. So if you have any uh, chair in your game, uh, if you have like any cars or something, if this may break, um, you could change this. You can go into dev forum and find out. Then we can do if not is seated or seat that name. Never mind. Wait. Uh, yeah. Camera seat. Then. Now we can do script apparent dot left arrow dot visible is to false. Script the parent dot right arrow dot visible six to false, and we're gonna return, and um, we are going to cam dot camera type as the enum dot camera type dot custom, so we can customize it, etc. Now I just want to copy this and change the false to true. Uh, yes, now we can do cam. Dot camera type is like the enum dot camera type dot scriptable so then cam dot c frame is like the cam parts one dot c frame like this now we can do local cam number so you're gonna start off at uh, number one of course now we can do r arrow dot minus Minus button one click colon connect function okay now you can do if arrow cooldown then return then return and so then uh, say arrow click cooldown is equal to true if cam number is equals equals to hashtag cam parts then um then we're gonna do cam dot c frame is equals to cam parts one dot c frame and cam number is going to be one now you're at cam number one and then if this is not all the case you're just gonna do an else and uh what we can do is cam dot c frame 
uh, cam dot c frame is just a cam uh, parts and then cam number plus one dot c frame and then cam number plus equals one now we can do this weight 0.1 and arrow click cooldown equals to false now we just got to do this the same so we're gonna do l arrow that mouse button one click colon connect function now we can do if arrow click cooldown then return nothing arrow click cooldown is equal to true if cam number is equals equals to one so if it is on one then what we're gonna do is cam that c frame is equals to cam parts uh hashtag cam parts dot c frame like this this is some highly sophisticated code cam number is equals to hashtag cam parts else cam dot c frame this is the cam parts uh cam number minus one because you're gonna go back dot c frame cam number minus equals one and now the last two lines wait 0 0.1 arrow click cooldown equals to false this is your entire script done we're going to test this out just, just go to your arrows make them invisible make sure you have everything anchored else you're gonna break and let's click play Alrighty, we're in our game. Yeah, this is one of the new shirts uh, by Oreo Nings. Thank you so much. Now we're just gonna sit in the seat, and as you can see, we get spawned at the camera. And now, if you go to the right, or well, you're gonna go like to the next page, as you can see, it does work. And after we can, you can go back. This is like the last part, and then if you do boom, you're num back at number one, and if you go boom, you're back at number six or seven. Is it six or seven? Number six. You're now you're at number six. And you can just do it over and over again. And if you get out, boop, everything's gone. And um, and then you can get back in your seat. So yeah, that is super cool, right? I was actually completely wrong about the car. Uh, it only works on this seat. So as you see, everything works. We got our own security cameras. For example, if you have a street, you can just put it in and put the seat in a police station. And maybe just add in a, a, a desk or something, whatever you want. So, if you did in fact enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I got some new merch, as you know, by Oreo Nings. So, make sure to buy it if you want. And um, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. If you want to become a member, make sure to click the blue, jump button, blue join button or something lol, uh, down below. And uh, my name is Newbie, and I say peace out.